video with me, Tamara Laporte from Willowing Arts. I hope you are well. Uh, I am currently very busy preparing my latest uh, course called Kaleidoscope 2023. If you're interested in joining me there, we're learning about colour, colour theory, and we're celebrating um, the amazing wonders of our world and the people in it. One of the paintings we am going to be teaching uh, on this course is this one. It's a a painting of Elizabeth Bennet in a field. This is based on a uh, photo actually from the film. And we're doing loads more. We've got amazing um, teachers teaching on this course and you'll learn everything about color color theory and uh, the theme is um, inspirational people and worldly wonders. So do come and check that out if you're interested in learning with me and with other teachers. So I've been very, very busy preparing that course and uh, home educating my children and doing ever so much more. <laughs> Sleeping is one of them. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've uploaded the video to YouTube. But here I am, here I am today with some very exciting stuff. First of all, I'm gonna be painting. I'm not doing, um, I know I haven't worked in my journal. I have actually not worked in my journal for about four months. And it's mostly because I'm, just so 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 consumed with so many things um mostly the courses i finished running watercolor wildlife which was amazing by the way you can join that now for as a standalone by the way but anyway so why i'm saying that is because some of you may have expected another episode of finish a journal but no not not today today i wanted to paint uh, a cute girl with massive hair this kind of girl and sort of she's sort of sultry and a little pouty ish and um I have this idea for, I want to work in an orange, um, red, violet, purple color scheme, which I think is going to be really striking. Hopefully it's going to, you know, do what I hope it will do. But before we're going to start, I wanted to let you know about these very exciting um, supplies I've been sent by some very kind people. So I have been sent a, a completely brand new set of watercolor paints by the f lovely guys over at Paul Rubens. Um, who I previously also sent me the fluorescent paintings that you may recall uh, if you've watched my previous video. This is this one. They they sent me a set. Well, I put them in this set, but uh, they sent me the tubes, and these are very very cool. And this time this they asked me, would you Tam, would you like to try out our? Uh, these are meant to be premium watercolor paints, and of course, watercolor is currently my absolute favorite paint to work with. I mean, it's, it's a, I'm still obviously do mixed media art, but um, my, my kind of staple currently, my go-to is watercolor at the moment. So like the body, most of it gets done, pretty much all of it gets done in watercolor. And then I will add on either color pencils or acrylic inks or, you know, markers, all these things. But the body, the most of it, by, by, by the body, I mean the, the majority, I should say, is done with watercolor. So I am always excited about trying out some new watercolor paints. So I can't wait to open these with you. And on top of that, I'm so lucky with everything I do, I was also sent some free brushes to try out. And these are, now interestingly, these are by, I, I want to pronounce it as Fumui, but I don't know if that's correct. I think it's Fumui, it's spelled F-U-U-M-U-U-I. So I'm saying Fumui, but it may be pronounced differently. Apologies if so. And um, interestingly, I, interestingly, I already really use their brushes. So most of the time when you see me use um, brushes, it is Fumui. And I think, I don't know if these are the same, uh, exactly the same of what, what I've already bought. So I tried to pick out a different set, but they might be similar to what I already use. And I do like uh, the Fumui brushes I already have. The only thing about them is, and I have mentioned this before, is sometimes the hairs come off as you're painting, which can be a little irritating. But what I love about them and why I always come back to them is because they are, to me, a a nice, um, what's it called? A, It's sort of like they have a nice firmness. They're not too flopsy. So some watercolor brushes, they sort of almost hang. They're, like, they're so soft um, that, that I find them like, I can't, kind of yield, wield them, you wield them. And these I love, um, these are my familiar ones. I mean, I, have, I also have uh, Princeton, which I do really like. Uh, and even, the, but the Princeton, even the Princeton is an example of a Princeton, and that's, these are more pricey by their Princeton. But I find that these are, do you see how they sort of stay, like when you press them together when they're wet, they, it stays flat, so they, they kind of don't bounce back. And 
I think some people prefer that in the watercolor brushes and I don't. So here is, for instance, this is also a familiar brush. And if I flatten this, they, they bounce, sort of bounce back. They're just a little bit more bouncy. You see if I, oh, I need to get a wet, white background. It, it bounces back. Well, the Princeton one doesn't. Now, like I said, I think this is just, if I do that, it doesn't, you see how it doesn't bounce? bounce back, it sort of stays in shape. So it's, it is really personal. I find that with, because people often ask me what my recommendations are with regards to uh, brushes. And I find it, I find it, I have to say, well, I use these and these, but it's really personal, personal preferences. So I recommend people just try out, ooh. Wow, it's nice how they come out. So I, yeah, and these are kind of interesting because they do have uh, the name on them. Well, my other ones don't. So I think this, I don't know what the difference is between the ones I normally buy. This is gold, golden maple, and I wonder if the hair might be different. So this set, this particular set of the familiar brushes, uh, is called Artist Brushes, and it says Artist Brush Set for Watercolor, Gouache, ink, and Inks, Paintings, and Enjoy Painting, Create Your Masterpiece. I will try, for sure. Um, it doesn't tell me which particular set it is. So these I bought of Amazon a while ago and they, uh, you know, they, I think the hair is different. Look, it's darker. Oh, oh. So I'm going to try these out during the my painting process and we'll do a little, oh, it's nice that this, so these come in all the, the flat, round, thin, th tiny and big. I like the presentation, like I like how, the, how it comes in this beautiful box. So that's cool. So Famui is the the brand of the brushes that I'm working with today. And then let's open up the, I like how it comes in all, all the shapes and sizes. So let's open up the, um, oh, let's put the girl away. Let's open up the paints. That's exciting. And I don't know if these are, oh, times five milli, milliliter. 36 colors, five milliliters. Not sure if it's tubes or probably not uh, pans. I'm trying to. I'm sitting here co comfortably and I'm trying to look for <laughs> something sharp <laughs> instead of having to stand up. I've been so tired lately. I'm like, I don't want to get up. Okay, here we go. That's good. I think this. I can do it. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So what I like about the Rubens uh, guys is they often are very kind of snazzy, beautiful looking boxes. Very nice. Sometimes in comes in velvet. So let's have a look. Okay, artist, what's call it? Uh, come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, let's. Of course, what we can do is we can do some swatching. Ooh, they came in tubes. Nice, interesting. All right, so we've got six, thirty-six colors, ranging from okay, Naples yellow. Couple of yellows, cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, some oranges. So I'm today looking for canacridone violet. So what I want to work with today is uh, oranges and purples. There's a nice teal in here, or like you know, the only thing that we don't know, and I'll do a couple of swatches, not the whole thing, but a few, is we never know. Not not all the outer band doesn't always match the actual paint on the inside. But this looks beautiful. If it matches it, I'll be like very excited. So, uh, what I might do is I'm going to add some to this is this is the Rubens set tin 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 that I started previously. I might add some. Yeah, I will just add them here to this. Uh, these are Van Gogh, by the way. So I might add them here. I might add some here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to grab because I also want some. I'm going to. Use some, see what this Naples yellow is like, if it's really, because I like to use some pale, palish yellow, uh, and on the, the band looks, yeah, pale, but often the um, paint isn't matching the outer band. So let's see what it's like. Oh yeah, it's matching, cool. So let's go a bit, oh, okay, well, what I've noticed is that the, the paint on the inside has separated a little bit from from the um, the binder, the binding, the oil, the oil, is it oil? Which is not good, that's not good. You see, so what we can do is mix that up a little bit, but I don't, don't know why 
it does that. So let's do this. So you can resolve that by mixing it, but um, I worry that you have too much of one or the other. You see, if it starts to separate inside its tube, now it's much better. You see that? So the the kind of the transparent stuff is not visible. All right, let's see if that's also happening on other uh, in other tubes. The other paint I want to work with is oranges. I'm gonna grab some oranges. This one is fine. It's not happening on this one, so it may have just been that. One, that's a nice color, a nice lightish orange. And then I do want to see, I've got two darker oranges here. I'm going to try them. This is called Chromium Orange. Ooh, nice. This is more of a yellow orange, actually, that one. And then let's put this one as a transparent orange. Okay, none of these have the issues, then the rest doesn't have the issue of um, separating, so that's cool. It's just that one. Can we in red light? No, I'm not going to go over that. And then I want to see what the teal's like, and also the Conecodone Violet. So let's see what the teal is like, because that's exciting. That's one of my favorite colors, teal. Ooh, that looks nice, actually. I'm going to compare it to the 509 in the Schmincke. And as I understand it from the lady that emailed me, is that these are meant to be fairly high pigmented, fairly, fairly pigmented in there. That's a nice deep Cronacridone Violet. And let's see, any pinks? There's no pink. Oh, this one might be a bit of a pink. Magenta? Maroon. Ooh, let's try that one. And then we filled up our, okay, filled up the new one. So I'll work with these and then I might add in some of my Schmincke as we go. But the colors look pretty. I mean, I'd like to, you know, I see this one as well. Translucent turquoise. Okay, so let's have a look at them and see what you think. And if I'm correct, you should have, if you're interested in buying these, you should have, um, there's, well, there definitely will be a link down in the description below for, for of YouTube or and or perhaps also a um, discount code. Have a look. All right, let's uh, have a go on just swatching these on a piece of paper and then I'll start painting my main painting today. Okie dokes, let's have a look here. So I've got these new brushes. Let me choose a kind of me smallish medium brush, this one, and see what it's like. <coughs> Okay, similarly firm. I like that. So it's same. These are made for. It says here and uh, so watercolors, gouache, and inks. So you can use other uh, paints as well. Let's start with this orange. I mean, um, this is wet at the moment. These paints, which is you can use them wet, but it is always a little different to go. Oh wow. Oh. Ooh. Beautiful, vibrant, what beautiful vibrancy. Okay. Let's get uh, the teal. So yeah, sorry, when they're wet, oh, the paint, it's okay to use them, but they sometimes clump a little bit. You know, it's, it's probably better to just leave them dry. Look at how beautiful and vibrant these colors are. Let's look at what they look like after. But this has a very, yeah, good, vibrant feel. So most of you know probably that my favorite brush, um, sorry, paints are Schmincke and I know, Daniel Smith. This is a bit too thick. Sorry, see, because it's wet still, I, I, it's almost like you're applying it straight, but that's just because I didn't let them dry. But that's, you know, normally you can let them dry. These are very, very vibrant. I'm really impressed with them. Okay, so this is called Maroon, but it looks very, very much like our beloved magenta, although a little redder, I'd say. But it's a nice color. This is a little redder than the usual magenta. Stunning. And the brush, so yeah, I want to comment on the brush. It's actually, an, I like how the brush works, and so far no hairs have come, become 
loose, which is keyed for me. Okay, key, key. I continue using them even if the if the hairs come loose, but it is a bit annoying here and there. That's a pretty colour as well. Nice. So that's the the violets. Let's have a look at. I can compare them to my shrink, my favourite shrinkers. And then there's another orange there. I don't have to use yet. So look at nice the the three different oranges. So they are beautifully, yeah, how I'd expect them to be. And here's the Naples yellow. Oh, you see that's a little, not enough water, and I just grabbed too much of. That's no, fine here. Naples yellow. Excellent, excellent. I like. Is that all the ones I've grabbed? I think so. Um, very nice. Let's and the brush also very nice, very nice. Working out. Let's let it dry and see how they dry. All right. All right. These are dry and I, they dry very beautifully. As in, they don't fade as much as some of the watercolors can do. They keep their vibrancy. This teal is amazing. Check out how vibrant it stays. And also this orange. I really love this orange. This is also beautiful, and it's but it's not the magenta I usually do like. like. And this dries a little darker. But I'm co just commenting on the colors that are ever so slightly different from my like favorites. But they do all dry very vibrantly. Um, so yeah, no, I'm particularly loving the oranges and the teal. So this is a yeah, very positive, very positive, and the brush is still not giving me any hairs. <laughs> That's good. I like the brush too. So if you're interested, as well, the brand is called Fumui, and number eight. This, would, I wish they put more. Like you know, these brands, they they sell like so many different types of brushes, but then they don't put on the brush or even the box which set you're buying because they have loads of sets. Anyway, this is called Artist Brushes. And the box looks like this. There's no like, I don't know, you know, number, uh, what is it? Like Coco Chanel number eight or something. And so I know which set it is, because I'm sure that this, they're more similar. Like for instance, this one I got off Amazon and that's called Golden Maple. And it is also, as I understand it by Fumui, but maybe with Amazon is a little confusing sometimes, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so Fumui is the brand for the brushes. Rubens is the brand for the watercolors. I like really very much how this has come out. And I've also, previously I've done another video where I demonstrated their neon colors and they are also very nice look. So if you're looking for fluorescent paints, they do amazing fluorescent paints. Might use a few today uh, as well. Let's see how we go. So I'm gonna start painting my girl. This will be time-lapsed. I'm paint this cute girl. Today I'm going to paint it most, uh, a lot, not all, not all of it, not everything with the new supplies, but a lot. I will use the brushes, but I might need a few extra colors for my other sets. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this will be time lapsed. Um, but if you're interested in learning from me in real time, then please come check out my classes on www.willowing.org. And uh, yeah, I love to check, I love to hang out on all the social medias. <laughs> so do come and check out my links below. I like um, connecting on Facebook and on Instagram. And I have just started the Threads account. I'm not sure how active active I'll be there, but I will try. And uh, yeah, do, do hit me up. Hit me up, man, in all the places, in all the socials, and we'll see each other there. Okay, enjoy and also please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that is a way of supporting us artists and we love you for your support. We are so, ever so grateful when people leave us a like or a lovely comment. Uh, we deeply appreciate your engagement. That is what keeps us afloat and what supports our livelihood and well-being. So thank you so much for being here and watching this video and engaging with it. I appreciate, I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Okay, hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you around. Much love.